What we're going to do today is a uh, braised beef short rib. While we're getting our black iron hot, getting that butter ready, let's go ahead and take our short ribs in a paper towel and, and start drying this meat. Okay? Because a little known fact is if you don't dry this beef, it's not going to brown. And it's the first step in this recipe is, is browning the meat. Now that our uh, black iron and our butter's ready, what we're going to do is we're going to brown these ribs off. What we don't want to do is crowd the pan. Let's put some in a skillet. And that's about two tablespoons of butter. Okay. I'm going to do brown these off. Take uh, maybe seven minutes a batch. Now that we've browned off these short ribs, we're going to put them all in this Dutch oven. Okay. We're going to keep our skillet with our butter here. And we're going to add one full onion. And we're going to saute this onion. Still fragrant. Well, give it about three minutes or so. Get all that in there. Go ahead, cover that, let that saute. It's been a couple minutes. You can see these onions are starting to get clear. They're fragrant. What we're going to do is we're going to add uh, two cloves of minced garlic to that. Okay. And we're going to let this sit and saute for oh, about another minute. Now that we've sauteed this onion and garlic, we're going to take these mushrooms and we're going to dump these in here. I want to saute these down. Okay. Just take a couple minutes. Now while we're sauteing these mushrooms, what we want to do to our, our short ribs that we've already browned off is add about two tablespoons of flour, some black pepper, and uh, some rosemary and a bay leaf. That flour will hip, uh, uh, give, give it a little crust and just a little bit of seasoning in there. You know, um, I'm not adding any salt to anything. You've noticed that? That's because I'm using a, a, a commercial uh, beef bouillon, which to me uh, already seems to have too much salt. Now, when we finish this, we can correct it if I'm wrong on my salt, which I don't think I am. Uh, typically, I'm used to a venison stock, but to me, it seems like uh, there's a little too much salt in this. While these mushrooms saute, I've added two tablespoons of tomato paste. I'm now going to add two cups of beef bouillon made off the cubes. Now that our mushrooms are browned off, what we're going to do is we're going to dump all of this in to our braising pan. Dump it all in. All of it. Oops. Let's go ahead and let's scrape this stuff up. I'm going to stir that around the braising pan. Okay. All right, now, to deglaze anything left on this pan, we're gonna add half a cup of mushroom water and half a cup of red wine. And we're gonna bring that to a rapid boil and boil it down right quick. And make sure we scrape everything up off of this pan. Cause we're done with this skillet after this. Bring that to a rapid boil. To uh, help expedite that, we're going to go ahead and put the lid back on it. We're going to let that sit, bring that to a boil. Let's check our oven, make sure it, we're at 325. Not too hot, and not too low. <coughs> we're perfect. Because once we boil this down real rapid, we're going to dump that in. And then put this whole Dutch oven in the stove for about two hours, maybe two and a half hours, until it's fork tender when we can pull those bones right out the short rib. Okay, you see we got this to a boil. Let's go ahead and scrape anything up we can. Not that there's very much too. Okay, and we're gonna keep reducing it. Reduce it a few minutes till you barely got anything in that pan. 
what we're going to, once that's reduced down, we're going to dump it here in our brazen pot. Now that we've got this reduced down, let's go ahead and pour it up in here with the everything else and them short ribs, just like that. Cut that heat, give that, a, you know, a quick little stir. So uh, put the lid on that. And that's going to go in a 325 degree oven for about two hours. Ugh. Let's check on this in three hours. It's been about two hours. Let's pull the, the short ribs out and see what they look like. All right. They're looking pretty decent. Let's uh, pull them out to a plate and we'll work on this sauce. So what we're going to do is pull these short ribs out. Look, look at how it's pulled away. This is a recipe y'all can do where you don't have to worry about the meat getting overdone. So we got this on a plate. We're going to do is set this aside and let this rest. All right. What we're going to want to do with this, all this juice, all these mushrooms, these veggies, everything in here, we're going to go ahead and want to uh, boil this down. Okay, so we've got the heat under it. What we're going to do is we're going to boil this down to about half. But you know what we can do right now? We can go ahead and taste this. See if we need a correct seasoning. Remember, I didn't add no salt because I thought that beef bouillon had too much. To me, it's fine. Can you see this is boiling down? Let's make sure we get everything out of it. Let that reduce about a minute, maybe a minute and a half. We're going to cut the heat. Okay, so... What we do is we've got, you know, the ribs on a bed of noodles with some peas and carrots. We're going to actually take a big spoon, right? And let's get all those vegetables, those mushrooms, and let's soak them like that. Okay? If I can do this on my front porch in a stove and some black iron older than me, what can y'all do in your kitchen? Remember, like, share, and comment on Facebook. Thank you.